Johnson over at A&E about the opportunity to be involved with this project. Uh, it scared me to death, to be honest with you. But I'm one of those people that believes you have to do the thing that scares you the most. The thing that scared me about it was not the same pressure that I know Mark must have felt, you know, I, I, that legacy pressure, I can only imagine what that's like. But for me, um, as a black man in America today who uh, has kids and I empathize with a young generation that um, fights against a system of oppression that, that um, screams out that their lives matter and um, that feels like there are things about themselves and their race and their culture uh, that hold them back. For me, my concern and my fear was how is this gonna be received by that audience? There have been conversations around the fact that there are other slave narratives that are out there. That's not what I consider this, but there has been content that's been created that uh, goes there, right? And what I realize is that there's a whole generation out there that think they know this story, but they haven't seen what you guys just saw. They think they know this story. They think they know who they are. They think they know where they come from. And they're trying to move forward. And they're trying to overcome forces and, and, and police brutality and, and oppression. But I don't know that they have really embraced the fact that their ancestors had the courage that we saw Malachi display on that screen. I don't think that they know that they are direct descendants of warriors in Africa who survived and then were put on the ship and had that passage and survived and then were sold into slavery on American soil and all the atrocities that we saw and survived. And they are the descendants of the survivors. And so for me, it was very important for a young generation that I know their hands won't go up when you say, did you see the original? Because they're like Mark Wolper's son. They have no desire to see it. It doesn't hold up in the same way that they're used to consuming contemporary films and, and television. But for that generation, I knew that it was important. Not just that we do it, but that we do it right. Because hopefully this will be the roots that will last another four years. Well, and my son will do that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, he mentioned Malachi. Malachi, Malachi, Malachi. <laughs> I, uh, you're an English actor. You're a Brit. Um, got the dialect down. Um, <laughs> but um, what was curious to me was what did you draw upon to develop a character like that? Because it was different than the LeVar Burton character who, you know, by many, many people's standard sort of, you know, got that, was just genius at that. But this is just something so different. What, how did you develop that? Well, first thing was doing my best to not recreate what LeVar did. I didn't want to touch his performance at all. Um, for me, he came to this project fresh. He looked at the script, he looked at the project, and by his own intuition, he gave himself to it. And I wanted to do the same thing. Um, I did research on the culture, the tradition, um, things like, you know, even simple things like the way that they sat, the way they ate, um, the way they would greet an elder um, in the village. Um, I did my usual character work as an actor, you know, just doing the whole character arc and reading through the script and understanding what it was that you're actually trying to tell. But in terms of the actual journey that Kunta Kinte goes on, to be honest, I had no idea how to prepare for that. 